My name is Ariane and I work for a family business in Ardwolf called the East Robertsons. There are seven full-time staff working with us and all of our meat is locally sourced from Forfar Market. Today I'll be showing you how to make a paradise pork pleat using specially selected pork loin. So here I've got a piece of the pork loin, I the pork, and we're going to cut into about four millimetres thick. Next, since we've got a long piece, we're going to cut that into three smaller pieces. So I've got three long strips now, so we're going to make a pleat. So we're going to take the left strip over the middle again, and we're going to repeat that process until we reach the end, but we're going to make sure we're keeping it tight. So now I'm going to add some marinade onto our pork pleat. I'm going to use a lemon and green pepper marinade, but when we're going to paint it on, we're not going to put too much on or you're going to lose that effect of the pleat. Customers buy with their eyes, so it's great to have that little bit of extra on your plate. So I've got some pomegranate seeds, and we're just going to sprinkle some of that on the plate. And I've got some cubed mango as well. That's just to give it a really nice sweet flavour as well to the pork. And I've got some lemon peel, and that's going to give it that zest as well. And then I'm just going to put, pick up the pork plate, place it in the middle. This is great for summer as well, great to have in the barbecue or even cook it the, in the oven at 180 for about 20-25 minutes. You don't want to overcook it or you're just going to dry the pork out. And there we have it, that is how you make a DH Robertson's specially selected paradise pork plate. Next, today I'll be showing you how to make a Moroccan style lamb. So this here, I've got the neck of the lamb, the Scotch lamb PGI. The Scotch lamb PGI label, the animal should be born, reared and slaughtered in Scotland. This week's lamb has come from Kirimur, which is quite close to Arbroath. And all the heavy fat's been taken off and the bones have been taken out. The lamb bones are quite tight, so it's quite hard because they're so small to bone out. So you want to try and keep as much profit off the bone as possible. So we're just going to open it up. I'm going to stuff it with some spinach. This is just to give it a nice structure for when we put our couscous in. Next, we're going to do just a couple of handfuls, not too big, and we're just going to place it on top of the spinach. Now we've got our wall and our couscous. We're not going to roll the lamb, we're going to pinch it. So we're just going to bring it up at the top, and we're going to use paddle skewers to keep it tight. We're just going to pop the paddle skewers through the top of the lamb because you don't want to go through the couscous or that's just going to make it spill out the edges as well. Next I'm going to paint the outside of the neck of lamb using a black garlic and pepper glaze. This is going to give the lamb an extra bit of flavour. I would recommend slow cooking it in the oven, slow and low as I say. Just for a couple of hours it makes the lamb really moist and it will just fall apart in your mouth. So next I'm going to cut a slice. PPE is so important when butchery or even if you're cutting at home. We're going to put another skewer in the middle of it. This is so when we cook the lamb is not going to fall apart. And there we have it. That's how you make a Moroccan style neck of lamb using Scotch lamb PGI which is locally sourced in Kirimur. Next I'll be showing you how to make a black garlic short rib lollipop. Here I've got a piece of the Scotch beef PGI short rib which I have sawed from the flank. I'm going to use my steak knife and cut in between both of the ribs. So now we've got one single short rib, we're going to cut just under half because this will make us a handle for our lollipop. I'm going to skim all that meat off. The bits of meat we've got left over that just gets used for mince or we dice it as well. And now I'm going to French trim the rib. We're going to take as much meat off as possible. When we cook this, you're not wanting so much meat left on or when it cooks, it's just going to burn. Next, we've got a seam here. So we're just going to follow that seam down. We're taking this bit off because there's a gristle bit in between and no one likes to eat a bit of gristly. So now we've got our lollipop, we've got our handle. Next, I'm going to score a crisscross on either side of the meat off the bone. We're not going to cut too deep because we're scoring it. It means when we marinate our short rib, the sauce is going to sink into the centre of the meat. You can use any kind of flavour you'd wish. You can use an alcohol one for those patty days, or you can use a hot and spicy or even a barbecue, but today I'll be using black garlic. We're just going to coat all over the meat on the bone, trying to get into all those cuts as well. This is great for cooking on a barbecue when 
you know, the sun is shining in Scotland, which doesn't really happen here often, so it's quite rare. Or even you can just slow cook it in the oven for a few hours and once it's cooked, it's just going to slip off the bone and it's going to be really moist and the texture is just going to be amazing. And there we have it, that's how you make a beef short rib lollipop using Scotch beef and PGI locally sourced from Kirimur.